This list of 20 contradictions in the writings of Paul is by no means a complete list. And before we start, I just want to point out that I do believe there is also truth in the writings of Paul. So I won't speculate about whether or not he was a deceiver in this video, but only to point out the contradictions between Paul and Jesus, Paul and other books of the Bible, and Paul against himself. For those who don't know, most scholars agree that Paul wrote the books of 1st Thessalonians, Galatians, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Philippians, Philemon, and the Book of Romans. The letters that are believed to be falsely attributed to Paul by 80% of scholars are 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Ephesians. And the letters that are believed to be falsely attributed to Paul by about 50% of scholars are Colossians and 2 Thessalonians. So first, let's look at some of the contradictions between Paul and Jesus. Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them. In 2 Corinthians 1, 17, Paul said, Christ sent me not to baptize. Most scholars agree that Paul wrote that. In John 10, 27, Jesus said, His sheep follow him. In Philippians 3, 17, Paul said the brethren should follow him. Most scholars agree Paul wrote that. In Matthew 6, 5, and 6, Jesus said, When you pray, you should not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. But you, when you pray, enter into your closet in secret. In 1 Timothy 2.8, Paul said, I will therefore that men pray everywhere. About 80% of scholars believe Paul did not actually write that, although he is listed as the author in the book itself. In Matthew 7.15-19, through 19, Jesus said, You will know the false prophets by their fruits, and every tree that does not bring forth good fruit will be cast into the fire. In Galatians 2.16, Paul said that people are justified by faith alone, not by the works of the law. Most scholars agree that Paul wrote that. In Matthew 25.42-46, Jesus said that those who do not feed the hungry will go into everlasting punishment. In 2 Thessalonians 3.10, Paul said, This we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Only about 50% of scholars believe that Paul wrote that, although he is listed as the author in the book itself. In John 14, 28, Jesus said his Father, God, is greater than him. In Philippians 2, 5, and 6, Paul said Jesus was equal to God. In Matthew 5, 17, Jesus said, Think not that he is come to destroy the law. He is not come to destroy, but to fulfill. In Ephesians 2, 13 and 15, Paul said Christ Jesus abolished the law. About 80% of scholars believe Paul did not write that, although he is listed as the author in the book itself. In Matthew 23, 11, Jesus said, He that is greatest among you shall be your servant. In Titus 2, 9, Paul said servants should be obedient to their masters and please them in all things. About 80% of scholars believe Paul did not write that, although the book itself does claim he is the author. In Mark 15, 27, we're told two thieves were crucified on either side of Jesus. And in Luke 23, 39 and 43, Jesus said to one of the thieves that he would be with Jesus in paradise. In 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 18, Paul says thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God. In the same verses, Paul says, He which is joined to a harlot is a fornicator and will not inherit the kingdom of God. But in Matthew 21, 23, and 31, Jesus said the publicans and the harlots will go into the kingdom of God before the chief priests and elders. In Matthew 9, 10, Jesus ate with publicans and sinners. In 1 Corinthians 5, 9, Paul said, I wrote to you not to company with fornicators, in other words, sinners. In Matthew 25, 46, Jesus said the righteous will go into life eternal. In Romans 3, 10, Paul said there is none righteous, no, not one. So those were, again, some of the contradictions between Paul and Jesus. Next, let's look at a few contradictions between Paul and other books of the Bible. In James 2, 20, we're told that faith without works is dead. In Romans 3.28, Paul said, We conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Most scholars agree Paul wrote that. 
In Isaiah 21.16, it says the Lord God laid the foundation. In 1 Corinthians 3.10, Paul said he laid the foundation. Most scholars agree Paul wrote that. In Psalm 10.3, it says the wicked boast. In Isaiah 61.6, it says those who will be named ministers of God will boast. And James 4.16 says the rejoicing of their boastings is evil. Even Paul said in Romans 1.30, 2 Timothy 3.2, and Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 that boasting is bad. But in 2 Corinthians 7.14, Paul said if he has boasted anything, he is not ashamed. In 2 Corinthians 10.8, he said he should boast somewhat more of his authority and should not be ashamed. In 2 Corinthians 11.10, Paul said no man shall stop him of this boasting. And in 2 Corinthians 11, 16 and 17, Paul said, Let no man think of him a fool, but instead it is the fools who receive him. Then he actually states clearly that which he speaks, he speaks it not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boasting. And again, most scholars agree that Paul wrote that. In John 3.36, it says the wrath of God will abide upon those who do not believe. But in Romans 1.32, it says God has those who do not believe and will have mercy upon all. In Matthew 10.2-4, we're given the names of the twelve apostles, including Judas. And in Acts 1.26, we're told Matthias took over the spot of Judas after he betrayed Jesus. That means Paul was not one of the twelve apostles. But in 1 Timothy 2.7, Paul said he was ordained an apostle. About 80% of scholars believe that Paul did not write that, but he is listed as the author in the text itself. Now we'll look at a few more contradictions that Paul seems to have made against himself. It's debated whether or not Paul himself wrote the book of Acts, but in Acts 9, 22, and 26, we're told the story of Paul's conversion as if Paul is telling it himself. In Acts 9, 7, Paul said the men with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but not seeing anyone. But in Acts 22, 9, Paul said the men with him did not hear the voice. And in Acts 26, 14, he said the men were not standing, but all fallen to the ground. In Philippians 4.3, Paul asked the congregation to help the women who labored with him in the gospel. But in 1 Timothy 2.11 and 12, Paul said women should stay silent. Most scholars agree that Paul wrote Philippians, but 80% of scholars believe Paul did not write 1 Timothy. In addition to these 20 contradictions, which again is by no means a complete list, Paul also admitted that he was a liar in Romans 3.7, that he was a thief in 2 Corinthians 11.8, and that he was the chief of sinners in 1 Timothy 1.15. I truly hope that this video was not discouraging to anyone following the gospel of peace. Instead, I hope it helps to clarify for us why Jesus said that the wheat and tares will grow together and why Hosea 14.9 says that the transgressors will fall in the ways of the Lord while the just are walking in them. For more information, you can check out the playlist Bible's Countdown to the Meteorite and Rescue linked here. Thank you to those who have made this work possible. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please consider providing support. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you next week.